This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to show you how to beat the final boss in the new Wine Cellar Dungeon. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we jump into the guide, first off, this is PTR content, so everything you see is subject to change. It's currently on test live. If you're on console, you cannot play it. If you're on PC, you can download the test live version and play it. No, I do not know when it's going to be re released to the live version of the game. Also, I have one mod installed, so that could uh, cause random issues because it's PTR version. Who really knows? It's only Pippi. I do not have any other mods installed. Uh, I disabled quality of life mod, which is what I usually have that shows you the uh, health values just to make sure that I have less problems with the whole guide and, uh, you know, less glitchiness. Okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, let's take a look at my setup. So normally when I do these guides, I show you like the bare minimum of what you can do. Uh, so far for this one, I'm going to recommend being 60. We may be able to do it at level 21 because we can get our high level thrall at level 21. But for now, I'm just going to recommend 60. Once it is released to the live version, I'll continue to mess with it between now and then. And I'll make another guide, the like official guide on how to uh, beat the boss if anything has changed. Uh, and also, this is only going to be just the boss. We're not going to do the rest of the dungeon. I have a lot more to uh, dive in and learn about that as well. So I'm going to recommend for now being level 60, uh, whatever armor you want to wear, you don't need anything too special, just 60 so you can have like the best of the best stuff that you want for uh, your play style um, or for, you know, how I'm showing you to do it because like you need the predatory blade. I, I recommend the scorpion war because it gives you additional armor and also your thrall needs a lot of high level stuff. So anyway, as far as like the armor you wear, I like light armor. So I'm wearing the assassin stuff. We have the scorpion ward, the predatory blade, any any bow will do. This is just so you can aggro your thrall to the target course healing items if we take a look at the attributes I have a lot in strength it's just a normal strength build because we're going to be really relying on the shield and the predatory blade now I could have put a little bit more here and went to the brutal strikes but that's going to get us more damage it won't get us the brutal strikes perk because of the sword that we're using basically can't make use of that perk so it would just get us the extra damage that you get for having the additional points into that um i just put the extra ones i had i mainly tried to go for this one here which i got to and then what i had left over after i spec the other stuff i just put into here but you'll see that it your build doesn't have to be super optimized. Yeah, it's going to be a lot easier on you if it is, but something like this, this will work just fine. So that's the build. Um, and then the thrall, the thrall is a little more important. And this is one of the reasons I currently recommend being 60 is, uh, you need like max the, the highest armor you can possibly get on this bad boy so it can take a beating because it is going to take a beating. It's, it's not just this final boss, but if you go into the dungeon, the mini bosses that are in there, they use hammers and they just wail on everything. They do more damage to you than the boss does to you when the boss swings his giant mace around. So I recommend going into this dungeon with the highest level armor. Um, I'm using the Barbarian because the Barbarian with the bulk weapon kit on it gets the thrall to 1085 armor and then we're using the sword of crom the absolute highest damage weapon you can get put it on your thrall that's just mandatory i don't care what level you're going in here to try to do this thing you want high damage on the thrall because this guy takes a massive beating okay so we have the thrall following us we're just going to run in here like i said i'm going to go straight to the boss uh, i'll cover all the other stuff in the dungeon later on when i have more time to go through it it's massive and there's a lot to uh explore so once you get in here make sure you got your thrall with you all you have to do is is light these fires so just go through light them up and then just step back and equip your bow and your damage arrows and then fire off a couple rounds into him if I can manage to hit him here then swap to the shield now the thrall will do stupid stuff like it's doing now um, you can see 
Hold on, let me go over here. I mean, look, she's trying to attack the skeletons that are in the ground because, you know, the AI is fantastic. Uh, it's fine. We can just block and stand next to her and she will eventually damage him. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult on us because she doesn't actually want to attack them or the boss. But if you can actually get the thrall to attack the boss, it's super quick and easy. Like, I don't even know what the heck she's doing right now. Like, this is what I've been putting up with. So, she's going to beat on him. He looks completely bugged. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to talk while they try to figure out what they're doing. So, you can block all of his mace attacks. He blows fire. You can't block that. And he does a cool on-ground effect after he takes enough damage. And you can't block that. Uh, you just have to dodge it. This is by far one of the coolest fights that we have in the in the game or are getting in the game. And, you know, I may find a way to try to cheese it, but I wouldn't even recommend it. The fight is just fun to do. So, I mean, yeah, if you want to try to cheat it or cheese it or whatever, by all means. But I don't even know if I'll make a guide to do that just because the fight is like one of the best fights. Just the mechanics of it all. Are, are just awesome. I really wish our stupid thrall would attack him and not the skeletons that are in the ground. It would make this guide go so much quicker. So I'm gonna wait till she busts him down a little bit here. Now you can fight this guy. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is wait till he's done his sweeping strikes and then hit him in the leg. That's it. You just rinse and repeat that. He's gonna sweeping strikes. You do that. Block. Whack him in the leg. When he does those, you can just step to the side and keep keep continuing to hit him. But he's an absolute damage sponge, so you're going to be doing that a while. And he eventually summons adds, which you kind of need a thrall to deal with him or to deal with the adds. Or a couple of people. If you had a couple of people, this would be a really easy raid fight. So just do this over and over and over again. That's all we got to do. And you can see he doesn't... He doesn't hit way hard. He hits hard, but he doesn't hit like crazy hard. All right, so I finally got them fighting, which is absolutely fantastic. So here we go. So when this happens, you can see what it does there. You need to get out of it as quickly as possible because it really hurts you. So you don't want to get in it. I got in it there. So, well, kind of by accident. And also it's good to show you the kind of damage it deals. You need to be ready for it when he does it. And I wasn't quite ready for it. And then you just dodge it. So you can see how easy the fight is with a thrall. And then, of course, I mean, all the fights are easy with a thrall. We just swap to our healing arrows here. Fire a couple over there. And uh, she'll start to heal. And she's going to make sure it work. But... In here in a second, he's going to do that on ground effect and he's going to summon a bunch of skeletons and that's when it gets kind of crazy and the reason I think that I don't really think you could solo it, maybe you might be able to. If you come in here like completely stacked and all of your potions and everything on, you could maybe one shot the skeletons. Um, but it's going to be difficult. So my advice is when he summons the ads, run around like an idiot until he's done doing the on ground stuff. And then you can start to fight them. And I just block and hit. You can see that they don't do, hold on, I'll, I'll let them hit me. There you go. They don't do a ton of damage. They do a little bit and, uh, they take a lot. So we can just keep doing that. And I wasn't watching my stamina, up, but they'll just chase you. You can outrun them as usual. And then just do this. Now, you might be able to do this while he's running around doing his thing. But you can also just ignore them and watch the, the thrall and keep her healed. See here. It's pretty easy to just ignore them while the thrall kills the dude. But you can also fight them because he just keeps summoning more. It's up to you whatever you want to do. I'm just going to kind of ignore them here because she should just kill him. He's He's got to be close to death. Let's get his, his yeah, there you go. And when she kills him, the, uh, the ads die as well. And then you can harvest him. So you can see where it would be really difficult to solo, like insanely difficult to solo. If you bring a thrall, pretty easy to do. If you bring a couple of friends, you could probably do it really easily without the thrall because this guy himself 
is not that difficult to fight. He's just grindy. All you have to do is just hold down block, whack at his leg, whack at his leg, wait till he attacks, whack at his leg, step to the side, whack at his, that's it. You just keep rinsing and repeating that over and over. If you see him like lean forward, he'll start to blow fire. You can't block that, so you just, just roll out of the way like that. Um, yeah, as far as like him himself, he's easy. The fight would get really, really, and does get really, really difficult when you have the ads and you're trying to deal with him at the same time and you're just running around. I mean, you could possibly just run around, swipe the ads, run, swipe, run, swipe until you actually like kill them all and then fight him. It'd just be really, I'm not saying it's not doable. It'd just be really, really difficult to do. You're much better off just getting a thrall, easy enough to do, or grabbing a couple of friends. But that's the fight. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's, like I said, it's by far one of the best fights. I highly recommend when it's released, come down here. You definitely want to give it a go. It's one of the best fights that they have done. And I doubt I'll make a guide on she. I mean, I don't think you can cheese it because a few things I've tested, if you get too far away from him or out of the ring or anything, he just despawns and you have to respawn him again. So it's almost like anti-cheat proof. But like I said, it's a fun, good fight. So I don't, it's not like a lot of the others. I don't know why you would want to uh, do anything other than just do the fight because it's a good time. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Like I said, if anything changes between now and the released version, I will make an updated guide for it. I'll also be doing it in my beating the game at level 21 because we got to beat the game at level 21 and this one's going to get added before I finish that series. So I'm going to eventually have to figure out how to do it at level 21. Um, but yeah, all right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider in that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.